Hello everyone, it's Imran here. Welcome back to another video. So, I am going to react to another Family Thomas sto story from the Shunter Productions channel. This one is written by the Jolly Marina, it is. That Shunter Produ that the Shunter Productions has a story, whose story Shunter Productions has adapted right here. And this one is actually a video I was kind of debating. I was like, after reacting to the Phantom Coach, which I'd reacted to literally just now. Want to see my that out, how it up in the top right corner of your screen. I think you know what? Lost in the smell is that of the videos I've been trying to catch up from him is the one I've been looking forward to the most. So you know what? Let's just do Lost in the Smelters right here because it stars none other than Class 40, aka D261. On or Bowler, whatever you like to call him. So yeah, I don't know what's uh, gonna happen in the story right there. I mean the Phantom Coach really had a had a had a sad story behind, you know, the ghost right here. But this one doesn't look like we're going to have any sort of a, of a sad ghost story behind this one. D261 looks like he's going to get lost in the smelt as he is right here. So, and apparently he's going to some, cover something very sinister in the smelters. I don't know what it is, but judging from the previous stories I've reacted to, to from Shutter Productions channel, I just have a feeling it is going to be sinister no matter what. Um, this one was uploaded on November 13th, it was, so on unlucky number 13, but D261 it looks like, but what's going to happen in this story, and what is D261 going to discover, or I think I should just call him Class 40, let's find out, shall we? Link to I'm reacting to in the description down below as always, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and get straight, get straight into this. It was a misty the evening at the smelter's yard. Harry and Bert were preparing to go back to their shed when a horn sounded in the distance. A long green diesel rolled in, a line of trucks trailed behind. Well, 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 smirked Harry. If it ain't old Bowler himself, what brings you here, eh? Brought you to a special delivery of scrap from the mainland, smiled the big diesel proudly. Lots of bits and pieces from rusty old steamers in there. Too late to be cut them up now, yawned Bert. Leave them there, and we'll end it in the morning. The twins rolled tiredly away, as Bowler wasn't coming from his tracks. He was about to leave for home when his driver realised something. Your tank's nearly empty, he said. We should have asked those two where the fuel pump is. Yeah, we don't need those silly little grunts, rumbled Bowler. I'll find that pump no problem. It's the driver easy. wasn't convinced. But did it's not easy when you when you're in when um when you're when you're in the smelters on a foggy night. It's not gonna be easy to find it I find it class forty, so I didn't wish to argue. This really, I have a feeling it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to end too well. I know it's not going to go too well. Bowler traversed through the smelter's yard, his land being swallowed by the thickening fog. You stupid weather, he grumbled. All Bowler could make out in the mist were the husks of engines past and littering the sidings. Oh. Filthy old steamers, he sniffed, glancing at their twisted remains. Only good for the torch now. There's the Kildane experiment right there. What's happening now? He's and he's run shoot. out. He's You've run, run out, out of fuel. fuel, you stupid diesel, sighed the driver. I'll go for help. And he did, leaving Bowler all alone, oh, with only a single flickering light post for company. The diesel glanced around. Though the mist made things hard to see, Something about his surroundings seemed different somehow. He didn't want to admit it, but it unnerved him deeply. You came a voice. Bowler looked it? around. H who's there? You did this. The voice slithered like an agitated snake. Who is it? Very funny, you two, Bowler called, but it isn't working. Suddenly, he felt a fierce bump from behind. Watch it, you stupid! Bowler stopped dead, 
the hollowed remains of a huge tender engine sat right behind him. He looked back and oh. found another scrap engine now lining the once vacant adjacent. Oh it, my god, it's a scrap. Look at that. Oh, what, what we had a scrap. We had a behind. We him. had a scrap, a scrap back version of Gordon. And found right another there. scrap engine now lining the once oh, vacant scrap. adjacent tracks. Ha, ha, a scrap oh, Thomas. He began. You did this. The voice continued, now accompanied by. I think I get it now. I think I get it. So this is, these are basically the steam engines that were scrapped by British Railways, and they're blaming diesels like Bowler. Several others. D -d Did what? Stammered Bowler. He thought he could feel someone or something stirring right through his frames, but he didn't dare look back. We used to be useful. How much you want to bet? That 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 we they're all the scrap there. Thomas and Gordon's prototype models from a part of me stayed behind. Remembering that story where Thomas and Gordon had their faces moved off their prototype type engines because they fell after they fell down the mine. Mine, how much you want to bet it's that the ghosts of their pilot models Until haunting you. Ha! Oh. snorted Bowler, trying to sound brave. We diesels are the way of the future. Your time was simply up. Don't talk to us about our time! We oh. had years of life left. Look, I've never killed an experiment, is one of them. You and you laughing as oh, you send us to be buried. Oh my goodness. Early. Suddenly, Bowler could hear creaking sounds coming from the mist. He stared in fright as several mangled scrap engines began to crawl out of the fog towards him. The eyes on their cadaverous faces staring at him with nothing but pure hatred. Perhaps we ought to bury you. Has called his friends. It's your time then, son. Today, only good for the torch. Together, the scrap engines began to surround Bowler from all sides. The Diesel was petrified and could only stare at their gleeful faces as they inched closer, Whoa. swallowing him whole in their shadows. Take him to the Carter's siding. I'll finish him off myself. They're gonna scrap him? Bowler could only plead for help as the scrap engines dragged him away, shunting him into an overgrown siding surrounded in mist. Oh my goodness, Real this is realism in Thomas at its finest right here. They sneered and limped delightfully away. Bolus stared frightfully around. There was not a sound to be heard apart from the maniacal cackling of the scrap engines. The remains of engines, coaches and trucks passed, lit the rails and the air began to grow hotter. Almost as if he was being surrounded from all sides by torches ready to cut him up. Please, he whimpered, someone help me. There isn't much time, came a voice. Another rusted tender engine had appeared behind him. 1020 please, again. Please, he begged. Don't scrap me, please. Do as I say and you won't be, said the engine, giving a comforting smile. 1020 again. you? asked Bowler slowly. Uh, another engine whose days were ended short, sighed the engine. Yeah. It's not your fault. Time marches on and engines get replaced, no matter how old or young. It seems these poor souls have forgotten that. But, 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 but yeah. why, why are you helping me? I'm a diesel, you know, and I haven't been very kind to you steamers. You and I aren't so different, really, smiled the old engine. I spent too many of my working days looking down on others for being smaller, slower, or weaker than me, when I could have made several good friends instead. Life's too yeah. short to be rude to fellow engines. I wish I learned I love if this would take place after rail space. There was a long space. silence as the two engines... 
I would love this took place after Rail Spins Snuck foot space and 1020 changes his actions into being an engine who's actually wanting to be helpful. <gasps> Here we are, said the engine at last. Bowler looked around. He was parked right next to the fuel pump. Th 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 thank, thank you, he stuttered, breathing a sigh of relief. Why don't you come back with me, Steamer? he asked finally. I'm sure someone could fix you up and put you back to work. Maybe your time's not up yet. C could, could I get your name at least? He He's stopped. Gone. The engine was nowhere to be seen. It had vanished into the motionless mist without a trace. Oh, there you are, cried his driver, emerging from the darkness. Where on earth were you? How'd you even get here? Bowler said nothing. Once he was refueled, he rolled quietly back home with much to think about. Despite his best efforts, he has never been able to relocate the sidings he found himself in that misty night. Ari and Bert think he sucked up another house, and while Bowler can't make heads or tails of it, he is a different engine now. He no longer taunts the other engines with threats of scrap, and is much more mindful of those which line the sidings of the smelter's yard. In spite of the horror he experienced that night, Bowler is still hopeful that one day, he can find those hidden signs again. If only to find the kind soul that helped him find his way to safety, and perhaps, give him a little extra time. Oh, no swearing at the end right there. Wow. I thought the Phantom Coach was, was, was shocking, but this was as equally shocking as what I saw right there. All those engines who had to meet a horrible fate, basically telling Bola how betrayed they feel. I mean, we let's face it, w w let's face it, there's only one man behind it, Dr. Beeching. Uh, he's the one who's, the, he, he, if you're looking for someone to blame scrapped engines, it's him. He cl he scrapped all of you, and Bola because he thought diesels like Bola was were the future. I was not expecting ten twenty once again to make another appearance. Only in, it was the other day he appeared in the spirit of survival. I'll have my reg that the top right corner of your screen if you want to check that out. Out and I like the idea. You know what I like the idea is that this takes place after Rail Spin Split Space, where ten twenty basically changes his. Change it still appears as a spirit, but no longer is a demon, but a spirit who now who's who's at peace with his pa past and is now willing to help someone like Bowler in need. But need that's why I like it. But oh my god, those scrap engines really, really went at it with with, with Bowler right there. There, I actually did start to feel bad for Bowler. Yes, he he was he replaced them, but. It wasn't really his fault. It, like I said, it all stems to Doctor Beeching. It does. Could you imagine if Doctor Beeching was a character in the in the Thomas universe? In fact, for Mark Foster's upcoming Thomas movie, I would like to see Doctor Beeching portrayed as the antagonist of the film with Diesel Ten. Doctor Beeching and Diesel Ten as the two main antagonists of that film. Please, Mark Foster, if you're watching this, please consider that. But oh my God! At least those scrap engines really wanted Bowler to play a pay a price, but. At least 1020 acknowledges that, that acknowledge that it's not Bowler's fault. Fault is that just some, sometimes when your time's up, your time's up. And you just got to accept your fate no matter what it is. But that was actually pretty frightening. It was right there. And all I can for once, I never thought I'd say this is poor Bowler. Poor Bowler. At least he, he changed his ways at the, after this. But I'm pretty sure he's generally... He's generally tra he's traumatized after what happened right there. There, he's basically traumatized. But if you do, I've got nothing else to say. That was certainly some story right there. Really was. You do want to check in my previous uh, Thomas reactions audio story or trains adaption. I'll have a playlist up in the top right corner of your screen right now. Actually, glad I did react to this because that was just a story right there. I've been wanting to react to story for quite some time and. That was definitely worth the wait right there. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought this uh, 
this fan made story I reacted to. Also know in the comments down below what other videos you want me to react to next. I think the Jolly Marina did a pretty good job writing this story. Uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. Links to both of them will be in the description down below. Uh, share this video, subscribe if you're new here, ring that bell to get notified when I upload new videos or when I put on the community tab. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!